Hello, how are you? Welcome to this video. And oopsie. Hi. So don't don't mind anything. You just anyway welcome to this video i wanted to a couple of things that i've learned um in the two years that i've been working out um i have been working like i've been working seriously out for the past since 2020 i'll insert a picture of how i used to look like the beginning of 2020 and how i currently look um for you to be able to see the difference and i've learned a couple of things on this fitness journey number one i learned that I should incorporate all the things that I like eating in my diet. Not even a diet, but like I should incorporate everything that I like. I like chapo, I like fries, I like um what is like I like cakes, I like sweet things. Like my sweet spot is uh, my my literally actually my sweet spot is is um what is it called like wheat stuff. Um, not even pasta, like wheat stuff, like cakes, like cha especially chapo. So, in my weekly meal plan, in my weekly everything that I eat in a week, there is chapo there. There has to be chapo. So, I don't crave it. There has to be chipo. And I use an air fryer to make my chips and all that. I use an air fryer to make ch chips and all that. And I even, like, I even started doing, making, um, what do they call like sweet potato fries and all those things. Just to incorporate that. Um, and also I've just tried, even if I like, what what do they call, like even if I like um, chapati and all that, I've tried oat pancakes, I've tried cassava pancakes, and I can tell you cassava pancakes are the ones that are literally so close to wheat, like wheat pancakes. So I would, I'm even trying more to try and use more cassava stuff, like cassava flour for cakes, cassava flour for like chapos and all that like i'm trying to double into that so i'm trying to incorporate all the things that i love in my in my meal plan number two what i have really liked and loved is i have loved um weight lifting i can't tell you the difference between like i can tell you a clear difference between me just i'll show you i look for the pictures where um yeah, I've seen a real difference between doing cardio and also doing weightlifting. I actually enjoy weightlifting more than I enjoy cardio. So I do incorporate like bits and pieces of cardio in my workouts. And that would be something like jump roping, something like um, star jumps. Are they called star jumps? Something like that. But I, use, I also use weights when I'm jumping. I incorporate all that into my workout and i enjoy that like i enjoy that and then i have taught myself and i look at other people and the bodies that i want to have and i look at that and look at what they're doing and learning everything that i need to learn about the gym yeah like I've l I'm, I'm trying to learn like oh if i do this this workout where does it hurt or not even hurt like where do i feel the impact where do i feel a move like where do I feel the change literally so yeah so I have learned and I train myself like I've learned um, all this stuff so that I can be able to train myself number three what I have learned uh, is that my journey will never look like anyone else's period my journey will never look like anyone else's and some people cut off okay for me i didn't change so much in my diet like i don't eat a lot at night which i'm okay with but also i don't eat breakfast but i have i must have lunch like that's a must and then i also included something like taking coffee and lemon like have you seen that tiktok trend where people are taking coffee and lemon for weight loss i i do i added that into my my own diet like i take that religiously every morning and doesn't have to be like a full mug it has to for mine has to be like a shot of like literally like a shot and uh, i included just small things um 
if I feel like ha- having if I feel like having like something sweet I will have something sweet I do not deny my body but also at the same time I'm mindful of the things I'm eating I have fruits I have all these other things I drink water I'm very mindful of what I'm eating but I make sure that my food it, it doesn't mean that my food has to be very blunt disgusting kind of things that are, I mean I'm not in a hurry to 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 look stick thin actually that's the thing I'm not in a hurry to actually look stick thin I don't even want to look stick thin I'm okay the way actually right now I'm okay the way my body is the only thing that I would want is to go for surgery to reduce my breast like that's just the only thing I have in mind but I like the way my legs look I like how I have a bit of tummy I like I like those things I, I enjoy certain things in my body like that it's not like actually I want that picture perfect nah, I'm not into that yeah final one um, I don't have to work out every single day. Um, in 2020, I used to work out six times a week when I was doing cardio. But like last year, when I started doing weightlifting, I realized like for your body to be able to more, for your body to be able to build muscle and all that, you need to rest. So I developed a system where I was working out four times a week, and it has helped me tremendously. I can't even say the importance of rest when you're working out. I like the fact that I get to work. I can even actually of late I've just been working out maybe twice or thrice a week and I'm okay with that because I need my body to rest. I need my body to be able to take time to be able to build muscle and do all that. I know I look a bit and I'm okay with that. I'm not in a rush for any other thing. I like the fact that I can see changes in my body. I can see certain things moving around. I can see like muscle on my leg. I can, you know, like I like that. I, I'm okay with that, and I'm okay with my progress. And so that's the other thing. Like you should be okay with yourself and be patient with yourself. Actually, number five, be patient with yourself. Be patient. Be very, very patient with yourself when you're working out. Everything will not happen within thirty days. Boom, at the you have a flat tummy no 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 that won't happen in in like 30 days there has to be changes that are going to happen slowly you have to work on your diet like everything is progressively coming together so that you can be able to have the body that you have i have i've gone from how i looked then to see how my body looks now to see how my body looks now like when you look at them there's a difference and i'm okay with like i'm okay with small progress like pole pole i'm okay i am patient with myself and i'm not in a rush to be able to just look a certain way or try to be a certain way no i'm okay with myself i am patient with myself if you see my pictures i didn't even have a neck like right now i have a neck like there's something that you can say that this is a neck if you saw my pictures like if you can see there's a real difference be comfortable with who you are be patient with who you are and and just accept yourself first so that you may be able to make the difference that you want for yourself without having to think that if i do this for someone they're going to do this for me if i do that i used to have that mindset before but right now i no longer consider that i no longer think about that it's me myself and i and everything that works for myself so i'm patient with myself i see more results and i'm not in a rush like yeah and finally like finally finally i just realized that um working out and gymming and all these things it's like a life sentence literally like it has to become your lifestyle like it's a literal life sentence for yourself like it has to be a literal life sentence and i'm okay with that i'm not in a rush to do too there are days i don't feel like going to the gym the days that I enjoy going to the gym and I'm okay with that I'm okay with that and I, I do what my body does but sometimes most of the time does I have like a physical calendar where I just tick out the days that I've gone so that I can see the consistency on my own part I enjoy seeing consistency on a wall like a physical calendar that I see I'm like okay this week we went three times a week okay last week we went once okay like I just need to see it so that I'm able to act on myself there are days that I don't feel like going and I cast myself out on the way to the gym, but I get to the gym. It's never easy, it will never be easy, but it's worth it. Let me tell you, after going to the gym and you're feeling very exhausted, eating that food, amazing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, 
yeah oh just because you do not look like the ideal like body type that goes to the gym that should never deter you to do what you need to do um people will always comment things like oh yeah you don't look like you go to the gym or why do you go to the gym if you're not losing the weight why do you you don't need to go to the gym to lose weight you just need to go to the gym just to feel healthy and feel okay when i started going to the gym one of the goals that i had it wasn't even weight loss it was because i used to get like swollen legs my legs used to swell and ever since i started going to the gym i no longer like i would sit because i'm sitting all day like the work that i do in, in the office and area i'm always seated so being seated all the time my legs would swell and like it go to a point that they were painful but i needed to get circulation in my legs circulation in my, in my body and i started going to the gym and I, the more i went like the swelling reduced even right now i don't have that much swelling on my actually i don't even have swelling in my legs plus also i know at the end of the day i need to be able to lift my legs um like putting them in a what's it called like i elevate my legs when i go to sleep yeah that's a given that i do but also like small things like that i sleep better when i work out actually i sleep better when i work out small things like that so don't just go to the gym and say oh, i'm just doing to work out and uh, just to lose weight and all that there are other benefits of working out there are other better benefits look at those and just move slowly at your own pace thank you so much for watching this video um like share subscribe follow me on my other pages you could share this with someone who you think that they need this push that they need this motivation i'm going to put pictures of my before and after maybe current i don't know if i have like a really really current picture but i will try and do that um thank you so much bye